All right, uh, Saturday. I didn't even go to a lot of sales today. I could have went to a bunch of town wides, but unless you go early to a town wide, I don't generally recommend it. I don't unrecommend it or disrecommend it or whatever the word uh, opposite of recommend would be. Um, I just, if you go, what happens is if it's a town wide, everybody goes there and hits it hard, like early. So, say like 9 to 10, you're, you're going for the scraps. So, what we decided to do was just go local. And um, we, like I said, didn't go to a lot of sales, but we did wind up spending $141. Um, I bought a lot of like loose toys, which I like. I actually like buying loose toys. I don't like buying them in the box. I like little bits and, and things and, and, and different um, kinds of toys. Uh, and it's just boxes take up so much room. And uh, for the space, they take a lot of times. If they're, va- if they're valuable, it's like there's, there's this weird middle-of-the-road price for a box stuff. It has to be, in my mind, be worth like say 25 to 30 at least to put on eBay, and then you can only pay five for it because you're gonna automatically lose like 10 to 15 shipping. And uh, or if it's if it's worth like say 30 and up, okay, fine, you can put it on eBay. Um, but if they're worth like 30 and up, to take them to the flea market and try and get even anything more than 10 is hard. So loose stuff, eh, it's small. If it's in, who cares? It's a, it's, if it's worth enough, it's cheap to ship. Even if it's not not worth that much. Even if it's worth like a $10 uh, or $8, you get a lot, a few of them and ship on eBay for like 3 to $5. So I, that's what I prefer. I just don't like uh, boxes that take up a lot of room. All right, $141. I think I'm just going to, I'll start with these, I'll start with the jewelry. I didn't get any video games today. Um, just a nice... A nice gold filled, let me see. I'm gonna put it in the sun. Okay, here's the sun. A nice gold filled ring with a green stone. Um, he says it's marked. It, it, actually, you can see the way the stone is set right there. And it's marked probably gold filled on the band. Yeah, I see something right, right where my finger is right there. I don't know if you see it, but just trust me. Here's a nice Pyrex bowl. It's got a band design. Oh, let's see. It's in pretty good shape, but not a lot of wear. This may or may not go on eBay. For this to go on eBay, it's got to be worth like 35 and up. Uh, I'd, I Even if it's worth like 25 or whatever, I'd take 10 bucks for it. I don't know what I paid for. I didn't pay a lot for it. Um, got a little bit of gold today. Not a lot. I did not weigh it. Um, I'm assuming at least 2, 3 grams. I really don't. You know, it's just who knows. Who even knows what a gram is? An ounce, you can kind of ballpark a gram. But I'm going to say this is at least 70 or so dollars in gold. And we did, uh, it's not hallmarked. Couldn't find it. Marie said there was like a teeny little mark somewhere like where, where I'm kind of pushing my thumb somewhere over there. But we tested it. And we, we like deep, deep tested it. This is a little uh, JJ, Jeanette Jewelry, uh, cat looking in the mirror pin. It's Mark JJ up here in the back. So that's that. Uh, I don't know if I showed these McDonald's cups already. I'll have to show them again. Uh, these are actually have some value. You can lot a couple of them and it might be like 15, 20 bucks easy. Uh, the ones that say like good morning Canada or good morning New York or New York, I don't, I don't know what places they cover. The ones that say good morning someplace are worth more. Um, I have a, already a stack of them. I'm probably gonna put them on eBay because I don't see anybody buying them otherwise. They're not character. Or, or like superhero or Star Wars, so you know. Bought this, no clue what it's worth. It's blonde, never heard of it. Sealed in the box. I'm not, I've never heard of place Vendome designs. It was a dollar, so whatever. And it is 0.85 fluid ounces. It could be worth, if it's worth like 12 bucks, I'll listen, I don't even care. All right. These are expensive. This is a French coffee press. Marie likes coffee, and so does my daughter. So we buy these whenever we see them for like five bucks or so. That's going in the house. Uh, what's in this bag? Oh, okay. This is a large Jim Shore Christmas angel holding a wreath, and it's musical tune Jingle Bells. I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm not 100% on the value of this. If I only pay $2. Oh, there it is. Only paid two dollars, so at that price, it, okay. To put this on eBay for me, it's got to be worth like 
uh, 35 bucks or so. Otherwise, I'll take it to flea market. I'll sell it for like uh, 10 or whatever. You know, if it's worth a lot, you know. Here's some really uh, pretty embroidered, uh, I guess they're table, like, like table covers or something like that. Table runners, covers, I don't know. But they're really nice. Um, Ray paid like a buck a piece for these. Uh, and look at the work in this. And nice bright colors. I don't know what she's going to sell these for. Uh, it's just kind of, I don't know if they call this like a pinwheel or something. I have no clue. Uh, I don't know what she's going to sell this for. Oh, and she got this set too. But she paid a dollar for the stack. And they're super clean and nice. The colors are so bright. The lady probably made them and then never used them. Just put them away. Uh, Here's a Lennox Christmas ornament heart. <clears throat> so crazy how people price stuff on eBay. Um, we looked this up. One person has it for like 20 25 so, something like that. And then another person has it for 60 <laughs> So, you know, you want to go with the $60 price. Uh, but that $20 idiot is messing it up. All right, what's in here? Let's see. Uh, this must be some kind of... Oh, I know what these are. These are skull glasses. Marie said these might be recycled glass because they're green. I don't know uh, if that's a thing. It, I don't think it says anything on the bottom. She found them online. Someone was selling them for 40 for the set. I, I If my daughter wants these, I'm going to give them to my, my kid. If she does not, I if they're worth... I'll take them to the flea market. If I can get like five a piece so I'm at the flea market if I can't I guess I gotta go on eBay um these are these glad these ought to be worth at least 20 bucks a pop. oh and I bought a harmonica I might try and learn how to play the harmonica I've always wanted to make music and I could join a blues band eh? okay. Uh, okay so these are glass oh and that was I believe it was a dollar um, I got three glass ornaments. These were sold, royal, uh, made in Italy, and they were sold. Uh, they were made from Macy's and sold at Macy's, probably in the in the cellar. I don't know if any uh, like uh, if you live in the city in Manhattan, Macy's uh, owned their own building, and they had a uh, the part they called the cellar. And there it is again, and uh, down in the the cellar, which would be like a basement or something like that, they would sell home goods and. And holiday stuff. You know, they used to really uh, hook up the trees and decorate them beautifully. I think these are probably worth 10 to 20 a piece. Not sure. I think I paid a dollar a piece. Oh, uh, these are actually cool. I gave one to AJ because I stopped by the store. I made a couple of really good sales today. We all we uh, had a, actually a pretty decent day. It's not even over yet. Um, but we had a pretty decent day at the store. People came in and were like buying, which is great. But I went to a yard sale. Uh, no, well, actually, it was a sale that they have all all the time. It was the, the famous Van der Linde one that I was talking uh, to Marie about uh, just the other day. And I said, hey, how much are these? And the husband said, oh, these are 50 cents a piece. So I took them all because I figured I'd, I'd uh, either keep, them, keep, use, sell, right? And mostly keep a few and sell. Um, but then the, the wife was like, oh, no, those are dollars. So I'm like, okay, I just won't take them all. So I just took... Uh, some I took, uh, and this comes in handy, you know. Obviously, it's not for like if I if I'm uh, assaulted, <laughs> I can't like whip this out and you know defend myself. But sometimes you need something sharp. You know how everybody uses their keys to cut open the tape from a box stuff like that. Yeah, this, this, this is good. Yeah, you, know, you got something under your fingernail, whatever. You just need to cut some a piece of paper, trim it a little bit. Um, this is actually cool because it it obviously goes right on your keychain. And, uh, and I showed one to AJ. I was like, AJ, you want one? He's like, yeah, I'll take one. Because, you know, even he realized that uh, they were kind of cool. Got another one of these Christmas trees. Um, I'm assuming this one's going to go on eBay. But this one I've never seen before, so that's why I want to show it. Um, it has this kind of angel hair, but it's actually kind of like, I'm assuming it's fiberglass, right? Like strands of fiberglass, because that's what it feels like. And it has a nativity scene. Uh, here's the star. It has a choice. I have an angel and a star that can go on the top. But it has this, a nativity scene with, like, like baby Joseph, baby Mary, baby, baby Jesus. Like, really little baby Jesus. And uh, no damage. Really good shape. I've never, ever had one before. And it's also lighted. 
So I, I guess the light comes through the manger and the fiber, fiberglass makes it like glow. I've never ever had one of these before. So uh, the, the good one, the, the ones that with all the lights on it can sell for like, depending on the size, can sell very easily like 50 and up to 100 or more sometime. Uh, I have no clue on this one. I'm assuming this is over $100. It will most likely go on eBay because it's, it's perfect, right? Um, if it's if it's less than a hundred, or if it's less than say a hundred, right, or around ninety or something, I might try and flip it on Facebook because it's just it's really cool, it's unusual, and I, I'd, I'd sell it for like maybe forty. Like All right, let me just move this. I'm going to do this bag in its own video because I got to sort. I'm going to separate. It. I'm going to do like stuff. I'm going to take a flea market stuff and not. All right, let's see what we have in this little bag. Oh, this is fun. Going back to uh, key chains. A lady was selling key chains, a quarter a piece. And I was just standing there. I started talking to him. So I, uh, normally I'm like, Ugh, who gives a crap, right? But I started looking at him. And this one, and I pulled out the ones I thought were cool for a quarter a piece, you know, even a dollar, a few dollars. Here's a... Uh, a small shell. It has Puerto Rico carved into it. Something like that could go on eBay. I, it could be like 12, 15 or more. I don't know. Here's a, a train that has a, a knife. Here's a Swiss Army knife. You know, Swiss Army knives are expensive. Here's one with Marlboro advertising. You know, any of these could probably be like 10 or $12 on eBay for sure. Even these could be. I, I gotta look that stuff up. Uh, here's from that movie Soap Dish. I actually thought it was from the movie Soap. I'm sorry, the TV show Soap that had Billy Crystal in it and stuff. And it, it, it wasn't. That's why when I bought it, I just got mixed up. This says Cheers. So it must be like from the TV show. And it actually opens up. Let me see if I can do it. One hand. So, I mean, like, isn't that really cool? And I guess if you ever lose your keys... Name, address, city, telephone number, email. So you can tell it's old because it doesn't say email or it doesn't have an Instagram. <laughs> uh, this is kind of cool. It's just a little teeny wrench. Somebody that likes tools would really dig this, I think, for sure. This is, like, insanely well made. I don't know if this is an older one. The lady said, oh, I was just collecting uh, keychains. But look at that. Uh, cable car. From San Francisco. I, I, I can't describe it. I wish this were made out of gold. I can't describe how heavy that is. Here's a Rice Krispies. Like, it's a little toy. Probably came in the box for kids. I don't know what kids have keys. You know, but it's possible. You know, not for their cars, for their house. And it's it's a little kind of toy puzzle. Not really puzzle. It's like one of those, those challenge toys. And uh, there's a the Rice Krispies. All the cereal. Oh, no. All the cereal fell out. Let's see if we can put it back in the box. And no, oh, I got some, you know. It's, this was, of, of course, before iPhones and that kind of stuff. Uh, just this had an Asian motif, and I was round. It's like yin yang. I was rounding it up to three dollars because they were twenty five cents a piece. And the final one is this kind of this. It's it's a blackjack one, and it says winning blackjack strategy. So anybody that likes gambling might find that fun. All right. <clears throat> Marie got some tablecloths at the same place she got um, the doilies or whatever they are. And what she did was she took the ones that she thought were the coolest. Like this one, I guess, is a fruit motif. I'm assuming these are going on eBay. This one is a vegetable motif. This one is a floral motif. Uh, these are the cool ones, I think. Yeah, this one is a Halloween one. But check that out. Check out those vintage Halloween graphics. And the felt back. Rest in peace. Oh, what a shame. Now, uh, so this is pretty cool. Uh, the, the one I noticed right away, though, was like, when she was looking at it, I was like, ugh, this stuff. You know. Uh, so here's another Christmas motif. And then here's another Halloween one. And this one is all fabric, but it's got great graphics, like colorful skeletons and bats and... A witch and spider web and blah, 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 a little cat pumpkin and even had a haunted house caught in a spider web with ghosts in the window. No, but still cool. 
And this one's another vinyl one, definitely vintagey. You can see the, the felt back has some wear, but it's all pumpkins. Great. Oh, it looks like there's a couple more in here, too. All right, let me just go through these. Oh, uh, okay, these obviously are napkins. Well, this one matches the big one. And here's another one with, I guess that's holly or, yeah, bells. So it's Christmas. Holidays are coming, you know. I don't know if she wants to take, maybe she'll take them out tomorrow, you know. I mean, this this stuff is great if you want to decorate with, you know, old school. Oh, and I guess she bought some kitchen utensils. I don't, I don't know if that, maybe they're a quarter each. So these come, I don't know if you, any, I mean, most of you will know what this is, but this is actually a jar opener. This is really great if you have weak hands, like say AJ <laughs> and other people I know. You just, it just goes on the top and you twist it and it makes it a lot easier. And this is for hammering nuts. Uh, like peanut, well, not peanuts, walnuts and stuff like that. Uh, what's this? Oh, and this is, I guess we're gonna use this to carve the pumpkin. I got a pumpkin up there, we're meaning to carve it. All right, let's get going. Um, let's see, these gloves were cheap. I go in the house. Uh, this is pretty cool. It's just like an animated standing Halloween figure of Frankenstein. It says, try me. It probably needs batteries. I'm sure I have batteries in the house. I'm going to take this inside. I don't know if anybody wants to sell it. Oh, here's some more of those cheap gloves. We need gloves. Uh, it's actually going to be cold tomorrow. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be like, uh, I don't know, 40 degrees here tomorrow. Here's an old, um, I guess it's church blow mold. Let me just put it right there. This was like a dollar. I, we're going to look it up. And if, if it has any value. I don't know why Marie took this. Made in Hong Kong. Maybe she's just screwing around to see. But this is for like if your car um, stalls or something. Marie said, oh, these aren't old. But they're not new. Uh, I can take these to the flea market. Who's this? Who's this guy? Uh, I guess this is a flashing, t uh, what do you call it, like, um, a flasher. All right, let's, there he is, the flasher, get ready, here it comes. Oh, he's got a red uh, crystal in his belly, okay. But, but nothing offensive. Uh, I guess this is a groom. Oh, and here's the, the lucky lottery troll. These are rusted. These aren't that old, you know, but I, 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 I can take them to the flea market and probably get like $3, whatever, you know. Okay, um, this is some corningware. Marie's been buying corningware and she says, as long as she doesn't pay a lot for it, it, it kind of sells. So, you know, just buy corningware. Oh, and here's, here's some pussy. Okay, after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a different video where I sort through this bag and I put it on. I'm just going to call it Toys, more toys. But here, I got more perfume, so I'll just show the perfume, and then and that'll be it for this video. Um, tomorrow, if you want to find me, I'll be in uh, Jubilee Parking Clifton. I paid three dollars for this, and this is something Kamora. What's her name? I forget. But that famous person, uh, Kamora Lee Simone. A Kimora Lee Simmons. I, I know she's like a, a designer. Uh, there's her cat. Stylized cat. Uh, okay, this is Capucci. I never heard of this. <laughs> mm. Mm. Didn't expect that to happen. Okay, everybody heard of Pucci. Everybody heard of Gucci. Capucci. RC. Capucci. Beats the hell out of me. Um... It was a dollar. So, I'm going to learn about that. As long as it's like 15 and up, what do I care? One of them was, was, is good. This one is Dune um, by Christian Dior. Is this a, is this an amazingly valuable one? No, not really, but I only paid a dollar for it, so who cares? Yeah, my leg's going to sleep. Uh, pink with a splash. This is Victoria's Secret stuff. Sometimes Victoria's Secret stuff. Once this continue, goes up in value for the price I paid. Who cares? Um, I guess this is it. This one, I don't know. Ruse. I've never had it. 
So we shall see. I can't tell who made it. All right, that's video number one. Only 20 minutes long. I gave me a chance to sort everything. I'm going to come back and we'll do this video next.